Okay, Kevin, so Saturday, an end to a, a great achievement, really. I know we've got two games to go, but uh, the great escape has been achieved. Uh, what did you make of the day? It, well, it, it was just another game at the time that we had to win. Um, like I've said before, it was interesting because after the game we didn't realise that we had actually mathematically stayed up. So I think the scenes would have probably been a bit different. Uh, everybody was obviously pretty happy that we'd won, but we still thought there was work to do until we got in the changing rooms. And then all hell broke loose. Then Gerin broke the kit carrying uh, case that we've got by jumping down on the wheels. Um, there's a few sing songs, the lads were happy. But that's probably a bit of relief, the fact that we've got the job done and, and I'm so glad that we've managed to get it done with a, a couple of games to go so we can really enjoy it and share it with the fans. We talk about the fans, it was over 500 at Bromley, um, what did you make of the support you had on the day? Well the support's been unbelievable anyway, I mean you go back to before the, the run started, uh, well it was probably the first game that the run did start at Boreham and we had nearly half the crowd at their place now that's unbelievable for a team that at the time was 12 points adrift of safety um, they've stuck with us they've stuck with us through the tough times yes of course there's been a bit of unrest and there was doubt and there was upset and all that kind of stuff but that's football it's, it's what you expect when a team's struggling but they kept coming they kept backing us they kept seeing that we were trying to do something and, and obviously then the results start to come and it becomes a bit easier to, to back us and to be there and, and to have a quarter of the crowd in a 2000 gate away from home is something that you don't very often get um, and I'll always remember that and I'll always remember the support that I've received from the from the fans pretty much from, from the off um, and like I say I'm just glad that we get to come here on Saturday um, against Barrow and we can show our appreciation I want to win that game. I want to finish 14th, the highest we can finish. I want to finish there. Um, it's not a case of just turning up and hoping for the best. We'll plan, we'll make sure we do it right. But I think the atmosphere will be something uh, special and something most of us will remember for quite some time. The build up to Barrow is, is important and the game is important, especially to the club, you know, the, the amount of fans we can get in. So I guess you'd, you'd see you want as many fans here as possible to, to enjoy the, the day. I think so. I think, you know, over the last few years it's been tough to be a talkie supporter. There's not been a huge amount to shout about. And I've said it before, this has to be the last time that we ever celebrate staying up in the National League. You know, we, if, if you're staying up in League One, yeah, we'll celebrate. But success now for Torquay is promotion. Success is getting up this league, challenging the way that Cheltenham have done and Forest Green regularly over these last few years, Grimsby. We should be in that mix. And if we can get up there and we can get ourselves back in the league then we really will celebrate but with the season as it's been with the turmoil on and off the pitch that there's been I think the least we deserve is to, to all gather at the ground on Saturday as many people as can as can be and, and appreciate that we have probably done something certainly that no one expected and something that all, that everybody will remember and, and it is pretty special I mean I, I've said to a few people I genuinely, genuinely never had any doubt that we'd stay up so once we did it, it almost felt like, well, I kind of told you we would. So it's probably not sunk in yet for me. I think Saturday and the atmosphere and, and being around it, I think then it will probably hit me a little bit. Because I've kind of been walking around in a bit of a daze ever since uh, it became official. I mean, the players have been talking and, and being interviewed and whatnot. And some of those are saying, it's, it's as you say, it, it's a strange thing to celebrate, but it's, it, in some ways it's some of the... Their, play, their biggest achievements in football. Yeah, I mean, it, the only other time I've been involved in, in what was called a great escape was at Notts County, and I still get phone calls now. And it, it was 12 years ago, 12, 13 years ago. Uh, we stayed up on the last day. It, it, it's a memorable thing. It's a big achievement because at the end of the day, you can't always be at the top of a league, and these things can define a football club because if we'd have gone down, then you never know what might happen. Part-time football... A lot less fans, a, a real a downward spiral. Now we've halted that. We've got to make sure we capitalise on it and start aiming higher and, and, and getting up this league. But um, you can't take away from the fact that our form for the last third of the season has been championship winning form. The boys have earned that. They've earned the right because they've gone out there and they've done the same thing game after game without getting carried away with themselves, without thinking that they'd made it. They went out there and did it. And um, it's credit to them credit that they could keep that going 
under an amount of pressure that you know you, you can see it now. There's a lot of teams that have crumbled under it and have found themselves dropping and dropping down this league. We've managed to gather ourselves at the bottom of the league and kick on. And it never felt like we were looking, thinking, "Oh, we've done this." It just felt like the lads were taking each game as it came. Massive cliche, but it's absolutely right. And um, and, and a lot of credit has to go to them for doing that. Of course, we've got something else past Saturday, Yellow Fest 2, um, which is going to be a big celebration and should be a good couple of days for the club in terms of the music, in terms of the, the beer festival. Um, is that something you're looking forward to as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly going to be here. Um, I look forward to seeing the, the spectacle that it'll be. I wasn't here for, for the last one. I'm assured that the bands are uh, as good as you could get and I'm assured that it's going to be a fantastic uh, weekend for everybody involved, families, kids. Um, so come along, you know, be part of it. I'll make sure that uh, as many of the players can be there as possible, assuming they've not booked the holidays already. And um, and yeah, it's just another nice end to a season to, to be in and around the ground and to, to sample something a little bit different. Well, for now, I think we'll have another interview where we talk about the season as a whole and uh, maybe parts of it. But for now, thanks very much and uh, well, congratulations and, and well done on a good job. No problem. Cheers, man.